Science is about understanding how the world works, how things work. And the reason that we ask these questions is because we un want to understand how systems work and we want to understand it so that we can make better decisions. Many students that I end up interacting with in classes will have a gut feeling that, oh yeah, it's a good idea to have vegetation on the landscape to mitigate against water-related problems, or of course it seems like a bad thing to cut the forest down, but they don't necessarily understand why. One of the projects that I'm working on is looking at what the effects are of suburban development, recreational development in the mountain landscape. And what we really want to know is, are there ways that we can develop where we can minimize what those effects are? Through a combination of field studies and modeling studies is the approach that we're taking. We have um, long-term monitoring going on that we've been doing for about eight years now. And we do it through simulation modeling because we can use computer-based modeling to ask questions like, what would happen if the weather did look different? What would happen if we took those trees off and the soil were more susceptible to erosion? So we do it through coupling field studies and modeling studies. Typically what we want to understand in forest hydrology is how can we manage the forest, extract timber from our forest, develop the forested landscape, but reduce the potential of that forest management to degrade our water resources. So it's definitely a big deal how clean our water is. Mm -hmm.